Hi everybody, welcome to Eunice Garden. See, we were waiting to get one Mokaro orchid. So finally we want, found one from Kerala. And they are white with pink spots. So lovely they are, see. How beautiful, they've grown so big and fully bloomed up. The roots are so long. Almost Eunice height. Oh yeah. Then they're dry. Once we put it in the bucket of water, they love to drink water. Can you put it inside, Eunice? And so you can see. And uh, we feel that they're freshed up. See beautiful they are. How beautiful they are. Second Makaro orchid. See, they are yellow in colors with the brown spots. They have bloomed so big. And so beautiful they are of Eunice hand size, right Eunice? And so beautiful they are. And uh, this is their roots. You can see them so dry they are. We are going to soak them in the water and show you how beautifully they are going to drink the water. Come, you can see. They have been drinking them. So Eunice is giving some more water to the aerial roots we are, which are above. Once they really turn green fully, yeah, see lovely they are turning green. The lovers of the sunshine, heat, they love them. Yes. So this also is long enough. The roots are big, half of Eunice size. Yes, they are really big. This was the first dandrobium orchid which I got and they really have bloomed well. See how the blooms are, beautiful they are, just like the twinkle stars. Eunice is enjoying holding them and they look lovely and every season they make sure that they bloom well and stay long, more than month and above they stay. So they are really beautiful, yes Eunice? And the colors are so lovely with white and pink. And Singapore, they have so much of them, even in the airport. And they look really lovely. Yes. And see how beautiful inside they are. Wow. They're looking really great. The next dandrobium is the light green one. See how beautiful they are. Yeah. They call them as, what is that? Light green aspen. They have one more name for it, is? Cooktown orchids. Cooktown orchids, see how beautiful they are. Yeah, this is the first bloom I've got. And we had white, which just fell off. And they are doing good. These are some of my Dandropiums, and we'll go to the next one. Actually, this orchid, which I saw many, many years before, maybe 15 years back, uh, and uh, they were so lovely with the long stake they had, and this is a baby of it. The others bloomed just a month before, and uh, this uh, other orchid one of the dandrobium also, the oldest one which we had. Yeah, and they look lovely, yes, Eunice. And they stay more than a month, I guess, if I'm not wrong, yeah. Most of this uh, dandrobium stay flowered than a month, then they slowly get dried. So they are beautiful, like twisted. twisted. Yeah, how beautiful it is, like purple twisters. Actually, this was my first one. 15 years old see that how big and they had many which I have cut off they have got pouring down. roots are pouring down see and they had a stick now it's over yeah and these are some of my dandrobiums which have kept them to grow in the little pots expecting them to grow soon with flowers so they are beautiful see we have got another one here also yeah uh, this is the new orchid who came home. 
from Kerala, dark purple like black to see how awesome they are. This is the wonderful new plant with a beautiful bloom. Just got it a month before. I'm so happy. All this dandruffs are. Oh, my dandruffs so beautiful. Lovely they are. Unique color. I just love it. Yes, Yunus? Yeah. This is our first orchid Vanda flower. Vanda, see how beautiful it is. It's dark, maroon, and uh, all are yet to be bloomed. Some are getting dried. Maybe the climate is not getting suited, I think. Yes, Eunice. They have a long leaves like mokaro and the long roots they have. And you have to soak them in the water. See, show them. Wow, see. They're looking great. They're going to bloom. This is my first Vanda and first bloom. Yes? That's all about my collections of dendrobium orchids. Bye!